In St. Elizabeth, PNP President Mark Golding is declaring an overwhelming support for the party, largely from young political enthusiasts. Kerry Ann Simpson reports. St. Elizabeth on Friday as the People's National Party's campaign machinery rode into the Breadbasket Parish. PNP President Mark Golding says he's encouraged by the support. And the response has been very positive, overwhelming actually, and we're very happy to be here. This parish is, of course, the breadbasket of the country, has a strong tradition in agriculture, but they have major infrastructure challenges. Water is a big issue here. Roads are also an issue, and the young people want opportunities so they can make money. And, you know, we know further down in south, the issue of the closure of Alpart is a very real issue, and we haven't heard anything from the government as to what's happening with that. And he has other plans for the largely farming area. So obviously agriculture is a major economic driver here. And that is an industry that we intend to prioritize when we come into government because we see the importance of food security. And that we also understand that Jamaica has a natural uh, ability to be very powerful in agriculture, but we have not given it the right kind of support and focus in the past. We intend to change that. And with less than a week to nomination day and under a month to the local government elections. I'm encouraging our workers to focus, finish all canvassing, stay close to the voters, make sure that they bring out every single PMP vote who has ever voted and young voters who we know should be supportive of us. We're very encouraged by the way young people are responding to us now. And we intend to do very well with the younger vote as well. And of course, we have some excellent candidates who are with me here. The constituency candidate to my right, Zalika Jess, a brilliant young lawyer who we have great plans for. And of course, seasoned and new councillor candidates who I'm sure are going to do very well. Kerry and Simpson, TVJ News.